Lindsay Tidwell presenting for Group 6 in Management 508, and we're looking into Ship Outdoor. Um, Ship Outdoor is family owned and operated um, in the Texarkana area. They operate throughout um, the four states region. Um, they were established in August of 2012, and they are a digital billboard company. Um, they are computer controlled, and they have static image display. Um, they, the, each billboard has approximately six to eight advertise, advertisers continually rotating. Um, the, they are located in high foot traffic areas with a number of potential viewers in every area that they operate out of. Um, they have approximately 80 to 100 customers at any given time. And they have exclusive agreements with private clubs, golf clubs, nonprofit organizations, retail organizations. And there are 37 units are owned by um, the CEO and CFO Chad Ship. 36 units are owned by the COO and President Ethan Ship. And 27 units are retained by the company for future distribution. Next, we're going to look at their environment analysis. So the social trends of Ship Outdoor, um, they have advancement of their technology-based environment. Um, they serve the four states area, which is Texarkana, um, Texas, Arkansas, Shreveport, Bossier area of Louisiana, and then some areas in Oklahoma. Um, the majority of the demographic in the um, Texarkana area or the surrounding areas is a white, non-Hispanic, um, and black or African American is the next highest demographic. Um, since they are so advanced in their digital billboards, um, the growing social trend is one that they will be able to improve upon um, because of the way that their billboards interact. Um, the next is economic trends. Um, with the rising employment and less people retire retiring and the expanding economy, um, they are able to operate successfully. The majority of people ages 40 to 75 are deciding not to retire and continue working, um, whether that is in just a part-time basis. Um, the economy is constantly expanding. In the Texarkana area, um, there are recently two new businesses, um, which is Nukes and Tacos for Life, and they just entered into the Texarkana area. And then in the next coming months, there will be a new business, The Flying Burger, which will be located on Summer Hill Road in Texarkana. Um, so the economy is constantly growing with new businesses deciding that they want to make the Texarkana area their place of enjoyment. So the next would be the political trends. Um, the recent government shutdown could be a political thing that would affect Ship Outdoor because of lack of advertisers. Because of the government shutdown, there's lack of incoming resources. So therefore, people have to limit their, sh their advertisement with Ship Outdoor. Um, major political issues that you would find in a lot of your larger cities are not found in Texarkana area or your Shreveport area because they are such, they're smaller communities, so therefore you don't find your major political issues that you would find um, other places. Um, and then upcoming in 2020 is the presidential election, which increases the ability for advertisement. People may decide that they want to advertise more because of the presidential campaign that is coming up. Um, next, we're going to talk about technological trends. Um, Ship Outdoor is a digital company, so they deal a lot with technology, and so they are ahead of the game when it comes to your tech, normal technological trends. Um, they are looking for new advancements in technology so that they can increase the way that they advertise with other companies. Um, so the billboards that they operate are digital, and therefore they are able to go quickly through several ads at one time, which increases their income, number one. Um, society is adapting more and more to technology, and because of this, people are striving to share things on a digital basis. Um, next, we're going to talk about the competition. For Ship Outdoor, their biggest competition would be, in Shreveport area, would be Lamar, which is a standard um, billboard company, not really uh, digital based. And in Texarkana, the big one is Fairway. But then comes social media. Social media is invading our world as we know it today. And so that becomes a big competition for advertising. People can advertise on social media like Facebook and Instagram. Um, and so therefore they don't see a need to have digital advertisements. 
So those are their biggest competitions when it comes to um, ship outdoor. Next, we're going to look at resource analysis. Um, so with ship outdoor, when you look at human resources, they don't have any permanent employees. Um, the company is family owned and operated, so therefore the company is them themselves. They do contract out their labor, labor such as certified public accountant they have, um, but she is not considered an employee. She is working under a contract. And so the, this makes them a strategic, gives them strategic business decisions. Um, along with that, they have people that advise them on their financial goals. Um, they have a salesperson in Shreveport, but they're not considered an employee. They are more so considered um, a contractor. Um, they don't have a board of director, um, so they, it's just a family owned and operated company. Um, financial resources. They use retail banking for their operations. So they have investments with an investment firm, and they hold savings accounts and loan accounts through um, private banks in the area. Next, um, we're gonna talk about their facilities. Um, they have inventory in the four states area. So they provide digital bill billboard advertisements for companies in the four states area. And so they have a total of 15 digital screens to advertise on. Um, they have six digital billboards in Louisiana and two more are, are set to be, be completed soon. And then they have four on the Arkansas side of Texarkana along with four on the Texarkana side of Texas, the Texas side of Texarkana. Um, and then they have digital networks in the, in the four states region. Um, more specifically, the locations of these are, they have one on Burke Coons Industrial Loop, um, North Market Street, Mansfield Road, and Pines Road in Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, in Texarkana, they have a, one along the Interstate 30 on the Texas side, Highway 549, I-30 State Line, um, Texarkana, and Arkansas, and on Highway 59 in Atlanta, Texas. Um, their products or service lines, um, yeah, their volume is 15 digital billboards. So um, then next we're going to talk about the franchise and contracts. Um, they hold customer contracts with their customers, and when they're advertising on locations that they do not own, they obtain a land lease with the property owner of that location, and then their subcontractors um, are used, they differ depending on the location that they are advertising out of. Equipment. They um, use contracted equipment, and then they have proprietor, proprietary software, Ignite Online, and that software is used by all of their customers to advertise. Their, they can upload their own pictures and stuff to advertise on the billboard. Um, and so then, of course, their certified public accountant uses their own private um, software for that. And then their contracted equipment um, is like your large automotive things like cranes and such. Next, we're going to talk about assumption and criteria. Um, so they operate with contracts based. They're, all of their um, companies are operated under, or all their companies that advertise with them are operated under contracts. And so they have to have land leases on wherever that they enter, whatever land that they're building their advertisement boards on. And then there's also, they have building contractors. When they come in and build up the um, billboards, they have to have a contractor that does that. And then these contractors have to have heavy equipment certification. So for them to be able to operate the equipment that they are using, they have to have certification to do that. So that is part of the assumption and criteria of SHIP Outdoor. Next, we're going to talk about the mission statement. So the mission of SHIP Outdoor is to facilitate the growth and brand awareness of local businesses by providing an innovative avenue to display brand and products to consumers. Um, and so they are about growth and brand awareness. Um, de achieving the vision defines greatness, and they've developed a formula for sustainment. Um, their mission is twofold. One viewpoint to enhance the elements of the open air promoting market, and the other to offer an option of imaginative, imaginative methodology. And um, they plan to gain benefits. Um, and give astounding comeback to provide sufficient income and support to its commitments. Um, they, uh, the goal for um, Ship Outdoor is to um, edit their mission statement every quarter so that they are able to determine um, if their mission statement needs to be changed. 
Next is the objectives and goals. Objective one is for Ship Outdoor to expand uh, locally. Their goal is to expand the local economy so that they have to, they work towards expanding um, their advertisements in the four states region. Um, so their number one goal is to, um, new ways to advertise is how they're going to help the objective of expanding growth locally. And so they're looking for new ways for them to advertise new um, areas to set up their bill, digital billboards. And they're also creating new incentives for their current customers. So what can they offer their current customers so that they will continue coming back to Ship Outdoor? And um, their next objective is work with the local community. They want to connect with local organizations um, so that, that when you connect with these local organizations, it provides benefits to both Ship Outdoor and to the local community. Um, and then with local benefits. Local benefits would be things such as the Atlanta Animal League um, in Atlanta, Texas, or the Texarkana um, Animal League in Texarkana. You work with these local benefits, provide them something so that they can help you in return. Um, next, we're going to be talking about strategy. Um, so for Ship Outdoor, they are all about building business brand awareness. So how are they going to accomplish this? Well, you can start with cold calls, calling businesses that you think you can help benefit them. So that's what they're going to do is they're going to cold call companies to provide them brand awareness and help Ship Outdoor become what they want to become. Um, their marketing materials such as handouts, placing them in local businesses, local organizations, local benefits, and this will help them increase their brand awareness. Next is discount programs, such as a referral program. You refer Ship Outdoor, we're going to give you um, a free month of advertisement in place of you referring someone to us. Um, and then advanced advertisement discounts. So things such as you pay for 12 months of advertising with us, we're going to give you two months for free of advertisement. And you pay for this up front, and then you get your two months free at the end of your contract. So next we have... Um, the next thing is we're going to talk about the long-range plan. Um, so their long-range plan, they want to increase their inventories. So they have a goal to add three additional billboards and then focus on the Arkansas region. So Ship Outdoor plans during 2019 to add three digital billboards to Texarkana, Texas, and two in Shreveport, Louisiana. During 2019, they plan to check into the outskirts of Little Rock. So focus on Little Rock area, the surrounding area of Little Rock, and see if that would be a great area for Ship Outdoor to start expanding into the Arkansas region. Um, they want to focus on sales growth. So as they create new locations, their sales are going to in turn rise with that. Um, so this would mean in 2025, they have a goal to reach a national level as a company, which would in turn definitely increase their profits and their sales overall. So next we're going to talk about their financials. Um, currently, Ship Outdoor is a financially stable company. Um, they Financials reveal that because of the investment requirements and the need to increase industry awareness, the company may not achieve profitability for six to nine months. However, revenues are expected to approach $1.4 by the end of year one. Um, so that is where Ship Outdoor finds himself currently in their financial status. Next, we're going to look at implementation of current and long-range plan. So what Ship Outdoor plans to do is implement brand awareness. <laughs> and so as they implement brand, brand awareness, um, they will be able to um, increase every area of their business. Um, and so technology... They plan to work with technology and digital programs. They're continually evolving. So thus the company plans to maintain the ongoing growth and development of their IT abilities. Um, next is budget allocation. The company plans to shift its current budget allocations to differing areas of the business. Um, facilitate marketing campaigns, technology for software updates for digital programs, and lastly resources for building Par partnerships with local businesses in hopes of increasing brand awareness and traffic to their website. Um, communicated team responsibilities. Successfully communicating their team responsibilities will increase motivation and complete responsibilities efficiently in is 
paramount to the successfulness of implementing the strategic plan of ship outdoor. Appraisals of results and recycling. Performance, ship outdoor will measure the performance of the goals as this is another important activity in monitoring the company's development and successfulness. Um, all performance at the company needs to be measurable and comparable. Um, the company will compare their actual results with the estimated results to see if it's successful in achieving its goals and its objectives. They will have quarterly assessments. With their quarterly assessments, it, is, it will be important for the company. This will facilitate in the trajectory of sales, provide a common goal for all teams, and depict useful opportunities for the company. They will use URL traffic volume. One of the, uh, this will allow them to determine uh, specifically um, how many people visit the um, URL company's webpage um, re regularly. Based on the project template, that will specifically indicate its current status and projected status. Um, on the traffic URL landing page, is measured ship outdoor will able be able to determine what measures they can take to increase their traffic. Promotional campaigns. As the company creates promotional campaigns, it will measure the revenue associated with these deals based on the overall project, project trajectory spreadsheet that depicts project status, projected completion, and notes on each item required to complete the task. And so that is our um, review of Ship Outdoor and what we believe is best for them in their strategic plan.